Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I have a fun card to show you. It is actually a twofer. Why do I call it a twofer? Because one little square of designer series paper is going to create two gorgeous cards. Let's change the camera and get started. Okay, so the stamp set that I'm using is called the Happiness Abounds. It is a bundle, and you will want those dies because they are gorgeous. And it's the paper that is really lovely in this suite. It is the Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper. Now, this was my featured Stamp Camp at Home Card Club kit last month with this paper pack. It is just gorgeous, and the best part, I think, is that those dies will cut out those images. So I took the different dies, and I cut one whole sheet here. I have a few more leaves that I can get out of this print. And you can take your scissors and get these outside edges. They're, they're usable as well, but I'm going to show you a quick and easy card that is just gorgeous using those flowers and a cute little trick for you. Okay, you're going to start with a piece of that designer series paper. Again, this is the Hues of Happiness. You will find it on my blog or down below the video under Show More. You'll see the complete list of supplies. We're going to start out with a piece of designer series paper that is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then you're going to take that paper, and this is where the twofer comes in, and we are going to cut it on the diagonal so we have two triangles that we are going to create two cards with. So I'm going to bring in a piece of white, and this is four by five and a quarter. So two cards, we're going to have two pieces. You are going to attach our little triangles right to the edge just like that on both of those pieces so let me get my liquid glue i use liquid glue because i can move it it has a little wiggle room for me to make sure that i get my triangle piece right to the edge of my paper nice and straight i'm gonna just pick it up so i can whoops move it get it so it's right on the edge that looks good and then i'm going to do the same with this piece and we're going to put that right on the edge again Pick that up so I can see. Looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use the Melon Mambo. You probably think Melon Mambo, but I'm pulling that Melon Mambo out of that print. So the sentiment that I'm going to use from that stamp set, it's the Happiness Abounds is the happy birthday so we're going to ink that up and i'm going to just stamp that right here towards the bottom if you wanted to change up the sentiment go right ahead and change up the sentiment now i'm going to take those gorgeous pieces that i die cut out of the cardstock there so I have lots of options here. So I can go with the bright pink or the lighter pink. I have the greens. Lots and lots of possibilities from that one. It's actually a six by 12 sheet of that Hues of Happiness paper. So let me see. I think I'll go with on that one, I'll go with the darker, and on this one, I'll go with um, this lighter shade. 
We're going to cover up that point just a bit. We'll come in with, and that you can mix and match. I'm just kind of laying them out. See what I like. That looks kind of pretty. This one has a little stem, so I'm going to stick that up a little bit like that. We'll come in with the little green there. Maybe I'll do another stem one out the bottom here with some greens. I think that looks great. Uh, see, I have tons extra for more cards, so you can repeat because all I used for the part here was a three and three quarter by three and three quarter cut in half. So love it. Now I'm going to pop these up. So I think I'm going to start by just putting some of those mini dimensionals on the back. We'll do the same with this one. I'll keep it more to the top. Like so. Come in with the bigger one. We'll put some more on the bigger. I tend to keep my dimensionals more to the inside so that I can t easily tuck in the leaves wherever I want them. All right, so I'm going to start with the biggest one. going to get my pick tool. It makes it much easier. We're just going to place that on there. Take my pick tool. We'll slide that under there like so. I can always fill in with a dimensional in other spots if I choose. keep forgetting to use my pick tool. So I'm going to tuck that under there just a bit and then I'll come in with a couple leaves for the top kind of along the edge like that. That looks good. Now we'll do the same thing with this one. We're going to come in with some of those dimensionals. Again with the big one I'm going to just kind of stick towards the center. And then our leaves. So again, we'll start with the big one. Kind of like this. And then we'll bring in these. And then we'll come in with some of that greenery. Like that. How quick and easy is that? And aren't they gorgeous? Now our card base is, we're going to do five and a half by eight and a half. It is scored at four and a quarter. And this is the Melon Mambo. And now we just have to attach that. And if you want to add some bling, some pearls would look beautiful on there. Or if you want to keep it, the paper is just gorgeous as is. So 
really doesn't need the bling. But if you wanted to, you could easily add some bling to it. Now because we went with a Melon Mambo base, we're going to want to put a white on the inside. So we'll just put a piece of white on the inside. And then I have some of that leftover designer series paper, so we're going to add a strip of that to the inside as well. So I have some strips. We're just going to add that across the bottom. Just like that. And we'll do that to both cards. Finish that off a little bit. How easy, easy is that? Love this paper. So easy. And it looks like a different type of fun fold. So that is your card for today featuring the Hues of Happiness Designer Series Paper and the Happiness Abounds Bundle. You are going to want to grab this soon. The host code for this month is right there at the top. If you are new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you like, share, give me thumbs up, leave me some comments, click on that bell in the upper right hand corner so you always know when I go live. Again, if you need any of the supplies, click on show more under the video. There is a link to all the supplies that I used that will bring you to my online store. I appreciate any and all orders. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.